in this video we'll be looking into the construction of PDA using empty stack method so this is the fourth example so the problem statement says to design a PDA for the given language a to the power n b to the power 2 n where n is greater than or equal to 1 by using empty stack method and we need to trace for the given string so my first step step 1 would be to design the CFG for given language. So let me write the language again here. L is equal to a n b part to n where n is greater than or equal to 1. So if I take n value as 1, so a should be 1, b should be 2 into 1 that is a 1 b square. So that's how the pattern would continue. So I'll write the language, elaborated language uh, with all the words possible. With, with all the strings possible so it would be uh, a b square a square b power 4 a cube b power 6 and so on so this would be the language so writing context free grammar for this we know how to design uh, context free grammar in uh, like we have learned in previous videos right so I'll I'll write it could be s derives the minimum it could be a followed by two b's and then there could be n number of a's followed by b's. So for this, um, I have obtained the context free grammar. My next step is to convert the context free grammar to PDA grammar. So I'll write it as PDAG. So I should remember the PDAG condition that is any production of the form a derives small a here being a terminal capital X being a non-terminal or X that is a non-terminal or a terminal or lambda that is empty string is referred to a PDA grammar. So any production of this form can be considered as PDA. So here I have S derives a b b. So S derives a. A is a terminal fine. You can accept it. After that I have a small b fine again small b fine those are the uh, terminals only okay fine i'm done with this then i have small a followed by s yes then i'll write b b and b is there one b i have written here I, I can't write again b here so what i'll do i'll put here also i can't write b here also i can't write b so i'll put capital b here and here i'll derive b derives small b so that's when this PDAG condition would be satisfied. So uh, my next step, third step is to draw the, to obtain the transition functions from the PDAG. So let me write the PDA grammars here and here I will write the transition functions. So S derives ABB, S derives ASBB, and B derives B. So, so I'll write transition of. So let's assume that uh, we are starting from the state Q. And on top of stack we have S. And the input string here is A. Here also S and here input string is A again. Here we have B and b so this should be equal to uh, in empty stack method we are we would be in the same state so let me write q here there's no transition from one state to another so q and whatever is left out in the input string a i have written it here so bb is remaining here right so i'll write bb okay i'll write bb here so here also i have bb s and bb then here i have just b okay b here i have lambda after b there's nothing here right so it would be considered as lambda so here if you see um for um for transition of q s and a i am having multiple transitions
of s over a yeah of s over a so it is non deterministic push down automata so here i can write the consolidated transition for q of s over a as open bracket q b b comma q s b b so i'm done with the third step to obtain the transition functions my fourth step is to define the pda that is p is equal to q sigma tau transition function q not z not and f where q is equal to q small q that is the start that is the only state here we are considering so it would be the start state and the final state as well then we have uh, sigma so the alphabets considered here are a and b then we have a uh, tau so all the states here considered uh, i'll write it down that is s and b are being used here right and z not z not is the start state here z uh, z not is s from s we are starting right so s is the start state then i have uh, i'm done with q sigma tau q not z not f and transition function is defined in step 3 so i am done with defining the pda my next step is to trace for the given fifth step is to trace for the given string that is w is equal to a b b so i'll write q comma s comma w here it's the initial configuration so here q uh q will tell us the start state s will tell s is the like q is the in the transition table in the transition diagram q would be the first state and the only state because possible in empty stack method then s would be the start state and then w is the string for which we need to uh, perform the tracing so i'll write q comma s comma i'll write the string as a b b and perform the instantaneous description if you have watched my previous videos you'll understand uh, how it's done so q s and a transition of q s and a transition of q s and a here i'll consider q comma b b okay i'll consider q comma b b so q comma in place of s i'll write b b and here i have b b remaining so again i'll consider q b and b so if i consider q b and b it's q comma lambda so in place of b put a lambda in place of this b also you put a lambda so we will have q b and b so again considering transition of q b and b again i would be left out with q lambda and lambda so this if i uh, when after tracing if i derive at this transition where the start state has has q that's the same and in the uh, in the start uh, state here i have in the z z not in the s i have lambda and for the string i have lambda, uh, lambda that means that the given string is accepted for the pda we have designed so i hope it was clear uh, if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you